For this Halloween makeup tutorial, we're gonna do a mermaid look. I'm gonna throw in some colors that you might not normally associate with the sea. I'm gonna paint her face really pretty first, and then we're gonna go through and we're gonna add scales we're using a fishnet. We're gonna lay the fishnet on, and then we're gonna layer the colors up till we blend into where her face will just be pretty color. The first thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of cream, and I'm gonna layer it on the lid so that when I put that turquoise on top of it and that acid green, I will get a big pop of color. I started with her foundation and brows already on because I'm just gonna keep adding color. You're also gonna need multiple brushes because you're changing color so much. I'm gonna start to lay on acid green in her corner. I'm using a flat, stiff brush. I'm patting it on because I want a high concentration of color. So no matter what design you do or where you put your colors, the more you layer the creams and the powders together, the more bright pop of color you'll get. Now I'm gonna take a larger brush and start to apply my darker teal color. Now start to blend above with the cream. Once we start laying it on, then just barely blending where they meet. So we get that separation of color. Then I'm gonna take an even darker green and I'm gonna go right at the lash line. And since I'm getting some fallout, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of powder so that when I get the fallout, I can brush it off. Grabbing a little more pigment. Once again, pressing it in, slowly fading away as you go up. I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and I'm gonna start to put, add some pink to this. Because I wanna fade out to more of a pink shade because it looks more natural and soft, I think. Then I'm gonna start to blend the teal. Now I'm gonna use a little bit fluffier of a brush again because I wanna blend. Making sure you just get a really subtle fade between the green and the pink, but it's still really intense at the, the lash line. Just keep blending till you get that softness that you're looking for. Now I'm gonna start to do a little bit of green underneath the eye. Now you'll notice the soft pink. I'm gonna use that as my blend out from here because what I wanna do is I wanna do a subtle pink on her face, blending into the pink, then into the darker um, gills and, yeah, sorry, scales. I'm gonna take a bigger brush to blend that out. I want, don't want it to be a harsh line. Just using my number 11 because it's a tighter blend. I'm gonna choose to get definition, not on the skin, but on the wet tissue ledge inside the eye with some black eyeliner. A little bit more of the darker teal right at the base and see how all that just sweeps away. No green face. Now I chose more of a brown lash, which is well as I mean kind of side swept so it looks like she's swimming. At least that's my story, I'm sticking to it. Always when applying a false lash, make sure they're looking down, not closing their eyes. And for those of you that want to know what lash, it's MAC number 44, because it is hard to find a side swept lash. Okay, so we've let the lashes dry, and I'm gonna just take a little gel liner, and I'm gonna line right where the lashes connect all the way to the corner, make the lashes look more real. I'm gonna start to blend out that color before we get into the colors of the scales. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of cream, just patting it on, because I don't wanna disturb the foundation underneath it. We wanna start to blend it down her neck, because we're gonna start the scales on her neck. I don't want them on her face because she's too pretty. We're gonna take a small, controllable, fluffy brush, making sure to blend it into the eye. Now I've taken a pink shimmer, a light pink shimmer, dark pink shimmer, and a naked-looking nude shimmer and mix them together. Now I'm not adding any cream to the center of the face because I want it just to have a light shimmer, more natural effect. Now I do want a little bit more of a blending out of the teal. I don't want it to stop so suddenly. So I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, kind of blend it together here. Blend it out as far as you want. You're gonna, have, you're gonna wanna have a friend help you hold the fishnet down. Um, a friend. You, a friend. Um, you can, I think cotton works the best because it's stretchier, so just keep that in mind when you're buying your fishnets. We wanna hold it as flat against the skin as possible. I'm starting with a matte light green for depth and contrast. And you're just gonna start to pat it on. This will start to create your scales. I'm gonna start with a deep green, and then I'm gonna work up into a purple. Then we're gonna work up to a chartreuse. And we want, finally, when we get to the top, we want a peachy pink color th that will blend into her skin tone really, really well. Now, one of the tricks to making these scales really show up, we discovered, is adding a tiny bit of depth to them with just a hint of black. When you do it, grab it on your sponge. Um, you don't want too much. You just want to barely kind of hit it so you get more definition. Pick up a little bit more, dot the excess off. Then we're going to do some glitter, sparkle over it. We mixed a chartreuse, a see-through silver, and a see-through blue because that's just how fabulous our mermaid is. You're just gonna peel it back, and you have scales. Then we're just gonna go back and do more scales, and we have our scales. So now we wanna go back and finish the face. I'm just gonna take a brush, and I'm gonna add some glitter to the face, because you can't have a glittery body and not a glittery face. I'm gonna keep it kind of in the areas where I think it, it matches with the scales. A little bit on the outer corner of the eye, along the top of the cheekbone, the cheek, just patting it on. And really, for me, the glitter makes her look wet. 
Now I'm going to lightly conceal her lips away first because I want her lips to look pale. Just a really sheer beigey gloss. Now we're gonna give her some hair, long mermaidy hair, and we will be back to show you the finished look. All right, so for this Halloween makeup tutorial, in order to do a mermaid, it's not about being specific where you place the colors like I did on the eyes. It's about your palette and the colors you choose in your palette because it's that palette that is gonna make her look more mermaidy. So remember the cotton fish net works the best. You wanna have a sundry of sponges around so you can keep changing sponges and creating your scales. So have fun creating for Halloween.